So I just thought that I would show you how easy it is to go into your website and edit things with the WordPress and Themify combination. So first I'm going to log in through my WordPress, which is very easy. You log in and you should have a username and password. Mine obviously remembers me. Thank you so much. And you log in and this is WordPress. This is what WordPress will look like uh, always. This is what it looks like across the board. This is what it looks like for my Discourse in Magic. If you see, this is I'm here at Discourse in Magic. And if I log in, it looks you know, just the same. This is what WordPress looks like. A couple of different other plugins that I have on this page, but for this exact same idea. And except in this, everything is really everything is contained in Themify. So you can edit some major settings here, but I just want to show you how fun and how easy the regular editing is. So this is the page again. And the only thing different is look, there's this bar up on top. So now we're going to put ourselves into editing mode. So you take Themify Builder, turn on. All I did was click on that. That's how easy it is. And it's going to load. And these at the bottom are all the different things that I can use on the website that already exist. So an accordion, which is when you put something and it spreads out and it shrinks back, uh, a button, a the contact form, the call out, you can put maps in, you can put text, you can put a portfolio thing if you've got some projects. Uh, there's videos, or you could just embed it in the text. There's regular text, tabs, sliders, icons, everything. And you can see that everything here is editable, and everything is everything I created. So, this is just an example. Here is, let's go here, this is a title. So obviously I can click on the title and I can edit the words in the title. And then I press save and it will change what I edit. Same as this, these are logos. This is so beautiful, look. It's a piece of featured content. So I put here for the, te for the text, sorry. I decide what I want it to look like. Sorry, those are some hiccups. And then I pick the background color. I pick from their list of icons. They have a huge list of icons, everything. You can see, look at all these different icons. So I go down to the social media ones and I pick the ones I need. I use the Snapchat one. You could use any of the icons and you put it right in there and you make it look exactly like you want by pressing save and then you press save here and then a change is made. Look at this, so this is a button. You can see it says button. And I designed it. And when you hover in this mode, it's not. But in the other mode, if you notice, when you hover, the button turns blue. And the, the way that works is because I decided that there's a button. And then I went into the styling and I decided, first of all, that it would be center. You can see what it looked like if it would be on the left. But I decided it would be in the center. I decided we'd put some padding on the top, which is what this space is. That's what this is. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is that I decided that when you hover over the button, you can see in the button link tab, background hover, I put this color. And you'll see after, or maybe you saw before, when you hover over the button, this color comes up. Very, very easy, very intuitive. I'm not, I don't think I changed anything, but I'm not gonna save. Uh, I embedded these two videos. No, I just did them with text, but I'll show you what I did. I opened up a text tab. So I dragged it in and this I went to the text and I pasted from YouTube the embed and it's very easy if you just Google how to embed a YouTube video it's going to tell you how to get this and it's from uh, it's from underneath the YouTube video from a little share button but yeah and now when someone goes on the page it automatically loads in its spot just like that and this and this is a button and this button I put in in a different way and it's just worth showing you that you could use the button with, you know, how they had an option down here. But the other way to put a button is here, you can see this white text, so I have a white here, just a, um, a method. Uh, but the button um, is one of their short codes. They have little tiny things you can use to build, a, build little tiny changes to your text. So you can use like a quote, you can put a Twitter stream instead of text, or you can put an icon, or you could put an author box, or you could put a ton of different things. You could split it into columns, um, like that, and you could do a ton of different things, or you could split it into columns like this. 
you can pick how many columns you want. Two columns is going to change the way that it looks. And of course, one column will change it back. Very beautiful, very easy. This is a slider. These are just two red lines I put. Anyways, and this is a contact form. Anyways, it's very easy and you can drag things that you want into place. So if I want another text, I would drag it here and literally I drop it and I can start adding text immediately and it goes there and I can change the style. So I just wanted to show you how easy, how easy this really is for you to change and edit your own website. And then when you're done doing your editing, doing your dragging and dropping and putting, and there's stuff for gallery, there's stuff for everything. You press save, and then you turn off the builder, and that takes a second, and you can see all those lines disappear. And now, we're back, and you can see that hover, what I was talking about before, it turns blue. And it's very beautiful, very easy. I chose these colors, I chose this font in the main uh, in the main settings and look so easy so simple to do all of this and I put my social media in the bottom and you can do that too you go into uh, anyways I'm not gonna go through it now it's very easy to do with themify so I thought I would just show you that it's super easy to edit and to create pages and yeah so if you have any questions you can ask me but also you can email themify before you get it that's what I did and they answered some of my questions because I was very hesitant after having bought multiple other uh, drag and drop themes and not liked them. Um, but there's also support for a full year after you buy your theme or you can feel free to ask me a question. I'm sure I can help you out with it if it's a basic question or just a question about the way that themify works and it's just really really beautiful really easy I'll show you again I'll turn on the builder and look look at how easy this stuff is to edit I put photos here and here's an example so this photo which I put as the background and you can see here I can change the settings of the way the photo appears so I set it to do not repeat so that it wouldn't like tile itself um, you, I could also set it a full cover, but that would make it a little bit bigger. Parallax scrolling is when you do this and it moves, um, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted it to be static, so I put it on do not repeat. And also you can choose where it centers around the photo. So do I want it to choose to center around the left side or the bottom? So let's put on the left side, here's why it matters. When you're smaller, it's going to be on the wrong side of the photo. It's a little bit difficult to display here, but it's just worth saying that you can choose where the image displays, you know, if it's up here or if it plays the bottom and depending on what the image is, you can see I've sort of put them in the optimal places. And yeah, I hope that that helps for creating your own theme.